This video will guide you through the initial setup and, if necessary, some minor troubleshooting for your Murray Mini Tank. Let's first take a look at the heater. The fitting with the blue ring is where your cold water will go into, and the fitting with the red ring is where your hot water line will feed from. First, please install your temperature and pressure release valve. It threads right into the fitting with the yellow ring around it. Some plumbing tape or pipe belt may be required. When connecting the high pressure discharge valve, please make sure all material used are rated for hot water. The connection of the hose or pipe will be a 3 quarter inch male fitting. Then make sure that it runs to a waste water drain. If you choose to mount your mini tank to the wall, then locate a stud or use wall anchors to support the weight of the heater when filled with water. Make sure that the heater seats on both tabs of the bracket and keep in mind that the heater must be installed in the upright vertical position. Both the fittings are half inch NPT. Make sure that the material used for the outlet is rated for hot water. The electrical connection is a simple three-pronged 110 volt plug. The outlet must be properly grounded and the use of a GFCI outlet and breaker is recommended. Double check the power supply for the outlet used for the mini tank. The minimum breaker size should be 20 amps. Please consider all other appliances on the same circuit to prevent a power overload. Before turning on the power, make sure the tank is full of water to ensure there is no damage done to the heating element. You will need to open a hot water faucet for a few minutes to ensure all the air has been purged from the system. Never use an extension cord. If the cord is not long enough for your application, then please have a licensed electrician replace the power cord with a longer one. Make sure the cord will meet all requirements. When the heater is plugged in, the green light will illuminate. Turn on the heater by twisting the knob clockwise. The more you twist the knob to the right, the hotter your requested temperature will be. Its temperature adjusts from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. When the water is actively heating, the red light will come on and stay on until the desired temperature is reached. Then it will shut off, leaving the green power light on. Please use caution when testing the water for the first time as to not cause scalds due to excessive heat. If after installing your heater and there is no hot water being produced, there are a few simple troubleshooting steps you can take. If the heater is plugged in and the green power light does not come on, then please first check the reset switch. First, unplug the unit, then you will need to remove the knob, pull it straight off, or a small flathead screwdriver may be used to pry it a bit. The reset switch will be located behind the control panel. Locate the angled screw that is at the top left of the adjustment display. Please remove 
only the small angled screw. Once it is removed, you can hold the gray faceplate from the right hand side and pull a bit and it will remove smoothly. Located behind the faceplate is a small button on the left hand side. Push that button in and then replace everything removed. Plug in the heater and you should see the power light. The reset switch will usually react to heat, shutting off the heater when it senses a temperature exceeding 190 degrees Fahrenheit, but it may also reset due to power outages or electrical storms. If the reset switch is popping excessively, then please contact the customer service center.